Hello, have you ever woke up with a thought about something so great, so wonderful, so good that you just had to share it with someone and you had no one to share, share it with? Well, this morning you get my sharing. And let me just say something about myself. I am a life coach. And being a life coach, I was trained that. I was, it, it, it all started one day when I was going through my divorce, my first divorce, I'm in through two divorce. And I remember living in a camper trailer. I stooped that low and I got on my knees and I said, God, please, please. I'm suffering so much, hurting so bad that I feel so terrible. Please God, teach me about transformation. And then what I'll do is I'll share it with other people. And unfortunately, sometimes when you pray, you really got to watch what you pray for because the answers are not always going to come in the direction or the way you think they are. And that led me to a journey. It's still a journey that I'm continuing to go go on to learn this subject about transformation so I can share so that I can help people so that I can see people to have breakthroughs because we all have blocks things that hold us back from our greatness so if we remove those blocks we can more or less like be free from our past and that leads me into this topic how to escape and release your past so that your past doesn't have clutches on you, so that your past doesn't ha ha give you agony or heartbreaks or problems so that you deal with them and move on so that you don't keep repeating the same th thing. Does that make sense? I hope it does. One thing you have to do is look at self-esteem. Acknowledge your emotions. Recognize and accept your feelings about the past. Nothing's wrong with that, okay? This is your past. It's okay, okay to have remorse. It's okay to cry. It's okay to say, wow, I really messed up. Or what happened? How did this bomb go off in my life? Number two, identity triggers. Understand what triggers painful memories. I had to deal with that. And also writing down in your journal your thoughts and your emotions and what you're going through because writing will help you to release your past and identify the problems and what's showing up. You have to let go, people. You just have to let go. You have to let go of those that hurt you. You have to what I had to do, number one was, which re really freed me, forgiveness. I had to learn to forgive myself for making so many boo-boos. And also I had, I was then able to forgive others. Number two, in letting go, you have to accept, you need acceptance, accept what happened. Yes, I went through a divorce, yes, I was responsible. Yes, she was responsible. What did I contribute? What did she contribute? What did not work? Do I need to, am I gonna repeat this? Number three, and let it go. Release attachment. Don't give it meaning. Let go of emotional attachments, such as I'm a failure. Mindfulness and self-care. Focus on the present. Engage in mindfulness. Stay your mind. Yes, I made a mistake, but I'm not, not a failure. I can do it over again and be free from my emotions of the past. Self-compassion. Love yourself, people. Just love yourself. Treat yourself kindly. Forgive yourself. Pat yourself on the back. Go out and do things. Get out in the public. Be free, get to socialize again. 
don't immediately rush into a relationship again, but basically thinking that's going to solve the problem, solve the problem. Seek support. Talk to your friends, family, or maybe even a therapist or a life coach. A life coach did more for me than I could have ever imagined because I went to my life coach, my head life coach in my coaching program, and I was going through my divorce, and I was saying, my wife, blah, 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 my wife, blah, 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 my wife, blah, 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 blah. She, she, she's so terrible, blah, blah, blah. But basically, the coach looked at me and said, look, I finally got what she contributed to it. Now, what did you contribute to it? And it was then, it was then that I had an aha moment. Oh, oh, I have not been doing that. I've been playing the blame game. And when I took account for it, oh my God, I was able to shift the whole thing for the better. Personal growth. Learn from your mistakes. Reflect on past experience. Set boundaries. Establish healthy limits. Cultivate gratitude. Be thankful, folks. Be thankful. Appreciate the present. Just because you went through that in the past, you got the now to deal with. Free yourself from the past so you can enjoy the present. In the closure, create a ritual symbolizing release from the past. Reflect on your progress. Celebrate growth. Who I was then and who I am now is two different people. Same person, but those experiences helped me to overcome emotional problems I had from my beginning for, that I carried into the marriage. Embrace new beginning. Welcome a fresh start. Be transformed and celebrate it. Embrace it. Remember, healing is a journey. Be patient and kind to yourself. Love yourself. Treat yourself special. And also, if you need to seek a professional health, mental health professional, do it. Also, there's divorce support groups and other groups that you can maybe join and be a part of AAA if you got a drinking problem or whatever. Also, there's a lot of good online resources, mindfulness exercises that you can do. So just free yourself from the past and just be free and embrace a new world. And also write down your goals, write down your dream, recreate your passion, and just get into the things that you love doing. Go out, tend a garden, go out fishing, go out visiting, you know, tripping, whatever you like to do. Get back into living life. Don't shelter yourself away from the people. Get involved in maybe church, get involved in things you love and rebirth yourself and have fun. And thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and have a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye.